morning, y'all. Our first trip. We're headed to get it up here in Goshen, Indiana. We'll take it down south. So, it'll be our very first one. So, come along for the ride. And we hope you enjoy what we do, what we see. And thank you for joining. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and leave some comments down there and below. If it's your first time looking and seeing our videos, we certainly would hope that you get something out of them. But we are. We signed on with Horizon Transport. That's who we chose to go with. There's several companies out there. If you interested in doing this and I promise you you can find somewhere to work if you want to now, I hope you've watched our other videos on all the documents and things that you got to do with Horizon and got some information from there or got entertained whatever I'm not a professional don't claim to be a professional just trying to have a little fun out on the road to have something to do and give you something along the way so hey we're on our way to get our very first trailer. So, wish us well. Until we get this first one under our belt, we're a little bit nervous, but that's all right. But, we're gonna hop off here. Next time you see us, I'll catch up with you over here at the lot, what we're doing, what we're doing, and I'll show you the trailer and stuff. So, yeah, we'll see you in a few. So, we got over there to pick up our unit, got in the gate, got our paperwork, that was pretty easy. Got backed up to the unit before we hooked up, plugged it up, no power. Hooked up my battery, raised up the trailer where I could see if I had power that way, and I had power that way. Then I get back in the truck. And I get a message on my dashboard that says service trailer brake system with a big cost exclamation point. And uh, I'll show you that here in just a minute. But now we're headed over to the shop to see if we can't figure out what's wrong with my truck and get it fixed before we can get on the road. So. We'll get over here, get that fixed, and we'll catch up with you later on. See ya. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. I don't know if you can see me that well or not. It's still dark here. But we did get our first trailer picked up. We had some issues when we went to pick it up yesterday. We had a message come up on our code, come up on our dash. It says service trailer brake system. And we just had it put in two or three weeks ago. and. I thought everything was good got up here and it said service brake system so we had to go to the shop and get that done and then we got back over there I don't know a few hours before dark got our load picked up and uh, we'll go out here and show you what we got get out in the cold and finish our pre-trip as we've done went over everything and uh, but there it is that's what we picked up. We're heading out with it here shortly. As soon as this pre-trip's over, we're gonna hit the road and get this thing delivered. And we'll keep you along the way. Take you with us wherever we go. So hope you got something out of it. But yeah, that's what we, we had to deal with yesterday. And, uh, but we got it cold up here this morning. As you can probably see, there's still a lot of snow on the ground. Ice all over the trailer. And, uh, but we got her. And we're looking forward to getting the first one delivered. And once you get everything going, it's pretty smooth, pretty easy. And so, yeah, we uh, need our truck 
He's a bad. Salt, grime on the road up here. But we got it all going on. And our dispatcher was real easy to get along with through all the issues that we had. And so, as I said, we, were, we took off and did this with Horizon. And so, everybody still easy to get along with. Got started off to a little bad run there, a little bad thing, but I think we got it all straightened out now. And we're gonna get on the road and we'll catch you down the road somewhere. So, have a good morning. It is morning and we're gonna get started. Get on the road here. That was our first trailer motel that we stayed at up here in Indiana and we had just enough time after we got out of the shop yesterday on our clock to get it picked up so that's what we did and now this morning we fix and hit the road and drive a while so we'll catch you on down the road somewhere all right I told you I'd catch up with you later on today we left out this morning up in Indiana and got down the road and realized we couldn't deliver this thing till Monday, so we stopped in Pigeon Forge. And uh, I got a cousin that lives here, runs the Super 8 Hotel, right downtown Pigeon Forge. Right over there, if you can see it in the background. I don't know if you can or not, but it's right behind me there through the tree line, Super 8 Hotel. We're gonna spend the weekend there. And uh, my wife and daughter's gonna meet up with us over here. We're gonna hang out right here around the trailer where we can keep an eye on it. And uh, this big old trailer right here, you know. We've done pretty good with that truck. It's a 2016 Chevrolet gas burner. And uh, it got about seven miles to the gallon coming up and down them hills out of Kentucky. So it's not as good as I was hoping for, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be either. So we run about 65. Our company allows us to run about 65. So we stayed between 60 and 65 miles an hour and uh, had a good time. Made good timing, got down here, and I'm gonna get a 34 hour restart here. We watching our, doing our post trip, watching our clock, checking this thing out while we talk to you guys and uh, making sure there ain't nothing wrong. So far, so good, right? And uh, so, but yeah, this truck's dirty trailer's dirty too but we got here pigeon forge we're gonna spend the weekend here meet up with the wife meet up with my daughter and we're gonna have a good time here in pigeon forge for a few days and uh well tonight tomorrow and we'll leave out monday morning make this delivery on this one and then we'll see where we can go from there but uh, we'll try to catch up with you probably down at the delivery before we catch up with you again. So, be watching out for us. There's our big old truck. Trailer. But you are watching the Dream Channel. If you ain't already, like, subscribe it. And we'll tell you that again at the end of the video. But. Yeah, we're going to get a 34-hour reset here in Pigeon Forge. Beautiful Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. If you ain't never been, it's a good place to come. Vacation place, tourist town, and there's plenty to do here. And uh, you ought to make a plan to come one day. 
beautiful weather here. It's in the 40s right here. A lot better than the twos and the zeros. No snow, no ice. This beautiful green grass. Trees are starting to bud, it looks like, right here. So, hey y'all. We'll catch you down into delivery when we get ready to deliver this. Have a good weekend. That's what you do when you're on a 34 hour restart. You go to Paula Deans in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Meet your wife and daughter over there. And have a great meal. Have a good one. Hello. It's uh, the morning of the delivery. We're finished up our 34 hour restart here in Pigeon Forge. And we're about to hit the road as soon as our pre trip is up. And uh, we went over everything like we're supposed to, checked it all out. We're just waiting on the last few minutes here to be done where we can hit the road. That is something that you have to do every morning, every evening when you stop, you have to do a post trip. If you stop during the day, it wouldn't hurt to do a safety check on your trailer, wheel, tire, truck, all of that. It'd be a good habit to get into. And we met our wife and our daughter here this, this, this weekend here in Pigeon Forge. We had a good time. Went over to Paula Dean restaurant and uh, had a good meal, good country meal. It was good, I'm telling you, it was really good. As I said earlier, if you've never been to Pigeon Forge, you ought to make a plan <coughs> to try to come. That's Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Uh, close to Gatlinburg, if you've ever heard of that little town. It's in between Sevierville, Tennessee and Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And, uh, I got a cousin that runs a Super 8 hotel here in Pigeon Forge. She's the manager there and got us a good deal on some rooms. So we spent the weekend here. Now we're gonna pull out and go deliver this unit and head out back up to Indiana to get us another one. And uh, looking forward to it. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've gotten some good information out of it, please. Um, let us know make some comments down there i'll catch up with you down here when we get to the delivery site delivery place where we're delivering the dealer and uh let you know how that went and then that probably be the end of this video and then we'll start over another one as soon as we get our next unit or we come up with something to talk about if you guys got a question or anything like for us to talk about that we try our best to do that as well in these videos we want to be as educational as we can but we also want to be entertaining and by no means are we trying to make this a uh, a movie or a career we're just doing this to have something to do out on the road and we give us something to do and we hope it's informing to you as we do it and you know we're not professional videoers we do all this ourselves we edited it ourselves we do everything ourselves so we just doing our best to entertain give you a few food for thought along the way and uh as soon as we get a full month's worth in we'll try to give you our numbers on what how we feel like we've done uh we started out in the hole uh we, so we're having to dig our way out and the reason we started out in the hole is is when we got up there and got started or getting ready to get started doing our final documents as we said in previous videos we had to purchase some more things we had to purchase some new mud flaps that, that we'd already purchased uh we had to purchase some placards because the magnets wouldn't stick to our truck and we didn't want the stickers to stick on our windows because we won't be able to take them off because when we go home for home time we use this as a personal vehicle and you have to take those placards or cover them up somehow. So we went down the road and bought that. And then we got over to pick up our first trailer as you've seen in previous videos. We had electrical issue for the trailer plugs up when we had to have that replaced. And so right out of the bat, we was in the shop 
getting some things done, but we got that taken care of, and we're going to take the next few weeks that's left here in this month and try our best to get dug out of the red back into the black. And uh, so give us a few weeks and see where we come and we can come and we'll try to crunch the numbers for you a little bit and let you know where we're at that way, if we're making it or not making it with this gas burner truck. Uh, our truck didn't get quite as good a gas mileage as we thought it was going to uh, from just pulling up and down some hills. Uh, it's not bad, but it ain't great either. I mean, I know diesel trucks get worse than what this is or around the same, so that's not too bad. But anyway, I'll catch up with you at the delivery. All right, y'all. We got here to the delivery, and uh, it's pouring down rain, so I'm going to hop out just for a second and show you that we are delivered. And... Uh, all right, set, disconnected. So we got it delivered. Good place. Been coming to this place all my life. Anyway, we delivered our first load with Horizon. And so now we're gonna get out of here, get out of this rain, and hope that you enjoy the video, please. Please to remember to like, subscribe, and make comments. Ask questions, whatever you'd like to do about our first trip. We certainly would appreciate it. Until next time, keep it between the white lines, the ugly side down, and be safe out there. This is the Dreamer channel, the Dream Helper channel. So until next time, have a great day and great time.